The word stress is a word that is bandied about in the common vernacular a tremendous amount these days, but in fact, relatively few people actually understand what it means. When asked to give examples of stress, a large number of people will say something like, my boss, or uh, <laughs> traffic, or um, a feeling that you have when you get frustrated and so on and so forth. But when we try to think about what stress is, actually, we don't seem to understand it too much. In the 1970s, I had the great good fortune of, at the research university I attended in Switzerland, to spend a considerable amount of time with Professor Hans Selye, who had the dubious title of being the father of stress. Selye uh, began to form what he called the general adaptation syndrome concept as each of us having something akin to being a bank balance of a propensity which we can call adaptation energy. This is the energy that we have, the capability that we have, when faced with a demand, if the demand is of sufficient size, we have the capacity to draw upon our adaptation energy in order to have an interaction with the demand. Most demands that are made on us, not all of them, but almost all of them, have to do with changes of expectation. I, I have a certain expectation about how my lecture is going to go. Uh, if somebody begins throwing cabbages at me from the back, that would be a change of expectation. The question would be, is that stress out there or am I having potentially a stress reaction, if in fact I'm having a reaction at all? If I possess the adaptation energy, the stability, staying power, the endurance, the intelligence to the capacity to discriminate or differentiate between one thing and another thing, if I have capacity for innovation, creativity, inventiveness, all of these things bunched up together, looked at both psychologically and physiologically, if I see that as my bank balance of adaptation energy, then possibly as a cabbage whistles past my head, uh, I could have the capacity to interact with that demand, to use it, to cause an innovative response to it, and to come up with another product. And that product would be our shared happiness.